everyone. This is lecture 29 of the subject uh, analog circuits. In this class, I am going to discuss about active low pass filter. So, I will cover first order low pass filter, first order low pass filter and uh, second order low pass filter. So, in the previous class, I had given the basic introduction of uh, active filters. In that class, I had discussed uh, low pass, high pass, band pass and band stop active filters. In this particular class, I am just focusing on first order and second order low pass filter. We will see the circuits for low pass and uh, uh, first order and second order low pass filter and we will see the design approach for low pass filter also. So, starting with the low pass filter, first order low pass filter. So, as I had already discussed it in the previous class that this low pass filter, it passes the low frequency signals and blocks, attenuates the high frequency signals, right. And uh, since we are going to study only the active filters, active filters means along with active element, we will be using some resistors and capacitor and uh, we are using op amp here as an active element. So, this active low pass filter, it basically consists of, it uses an RC network along with the op amp that is the active filter, right. We can see that in this first order low pass filter, in fact, uh, there are uh, two portions of uh, this first order low pass filter. The first portion is this one, this R and C which I have circled. Basically, this RC combination, it provides the filter function. If only, if we use only this R and C, if we do not use this op amp, then it, it will become the passive filter. But in active filter, what happens? The input signal is again applied. This is your input signal, V in is applied at this RC section and this RC section is connected at the non-inverting input of the op amp. We are using the non-inverting configuration of op amp because the input resistance of the non-inverting configuration of op amp is very high. So, there will be no loading effect in this circuit. That is why we are using non-inverting configuration. And another section of this circuit is this R1 and RF. This R1 and RF, it provides gain. As we had seen in the last class that this is one of the advantage of the active filter over passive filter that active filter provides gain. And if we calculate the passband gain of uh, this circuit, since it is a non-inverting configuration, so the passband gain it will be 1 plus Rf upon R1. So this equation we had derived in the non-inverting configuration of op amp in that class, we had seen that. So this is the passband gain. And what is this cutoff frequency? Cutoff frequency of the filter, it is the frequency at which the gain is reduced by 3 dB of the maximum gain. So, I had discussed uh, this cutoff frequency in the last class also. And uh, since this, it is a first order filter, so the roll off rate is 20 dB per decade. So, the point is that this RC section, it is applied at the non-inverting configuration in order to avoid the loading effect, loading problem. And this R1 RF2 resistors it provides gain, and this plus VCC minus V are the supply voltages, RL is the load resistance, this is your output voltage V0, and the input is V. Fine. Now we have to derive the transfer function of this first order low pass filter. Transfer function means V0 S upon V S we need to derive. So we can derive it easily. Let us see, let us say the voltage at the non-inverting terminal A is V1, this is V1. So, what will be the value of V1 in terms of V in by applying the voltage division rule? So, V1 will be equal to the impedance of the capa capacitance is 1 by SC upon R plus 1 by SC into V. In. This is the value of V1 and further we can derive the relation between V0 and V1. What will be the relation between V0 and V1? V0 will be equal to 1 plus 
R f upon R 1 into V 1. Now, we can put the value of V 1 here and from here we can calculate the value of V naught upon V in. and this 1 plus R f upon R 1 is called pass band gain that can be represented with the with the term A f fine. So, with the help of voltage division rule we have find out uh, the value of V 1 further we know the relation between V naught and V 1 since it is a non inverting configuration that is why this V naught is equal to 1 plus R f upon R 1 into V 1. So, after rearranging the terms we will get this V 1 equal to V in upon 1 plus J 2 pi f r c because since the S term is coming out. So, S will be equal to J omega further this omega will be 2 pi f what is f? f is the frequency of the input signal right and after rearranging the terms we will get V naught upon V in is equal to A f upon 1 plus J into f by f h. What is this f h? f h is the cutoff frequency this cutoff frequency is 1 upon 2 pi r c a f is the pass band gain a f is 1 plus r f upon r 1. So, just rearrange the terms you will get this V naught upon V in. Further we can take the mod of this V naught upon V this V naught upon V in is voltage gain it will be a f upon under root since there is a j term. So, under root real part square plus imaginary part square. So, this is the voltage gain of first order low pass filter where a f is the pass band gain f is the frequency of the input signal and f h is the cutoff frequency. And when we draw the frequency response of uh, this first order low pass filter gain versus frequency then this one is a f and the cutoff frequency is f h right. So, this is the transfer function voltage gain of the first order low pass filter. Now, what what is the design approach for first order low pass filter? So, we design filters for a particular cutoff frequency. So, we should know that cutoff frequency for a particular cutoff frequency we design the filters. So, step 1 is we have to mention the value of f h that is the cutoff frequency and in step 2 we need to find out the value of the capacitor and resistors. See design means we need to find out the component values like R, C, R 1 and R f and we have to select these component values such that such that we should get the cutoff frequency which we have already mentioned. So, we will see a problem based on it fine. So, to design the filters what we do we select some value of capacitor first normally we take the value of the capacitor less than or equal to 1 micro farad C should be less than or equal to 1 micro farad we will select it you can select any value you can select 0 0.1 micro farad 0 0.01 micro farad fine and corresponding to that value of capacitor C we can find out the value of resistor R because we know the cutoff frequency f h is equal to 1 upon 2 pi R C f h is given in the step 1 C we will select from step 2 from this equation we can find out the value of R in step 4 we find out the value of R 1 and R f and these two registers R 1 and R f are responsible for gain. So, the gain equation we know that a f is equal to 1 plus r f upon r 1 if the pass if the gain is given then we can select the value of r f and r 1 accordingly. For uh, this case also we some we select some value of r 1 normally we take r 1 less than 100 kilo and corresponding to that value of r 1 we get the value of r r f and the last step is design the circuit design the circuit means just design that circuit and mention all the component values fine. So, you have to design this circuit like in this circuit all the component values are mentioned and when we simulate uh, this circuit then it will give a particular cutoff frequency. Now, to better understand it let us do a problem based on it that is design a first order low pass filter at a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz with a pass band gain of 2. So, how we design? We will go step by step. 
the step one is mention the value of the cutoff frequency. In the question, it is mentioned it is 1 kilohertz. Step 2 is select some value of capacitor C that should be less than or equal to 1 micro farad. So, let us select the value of capacitor C 0 0.01 micro farad. Step 3 is just find out the value of R that R will be 1 upon 2 pi FH into C and we, when you put the value of uh, C and FH here, then we will get the value of R, fine. Step 4 is find out the value of R1 and RF for that since in the question passband gain AF is given, this AF is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1. So, from this equation, the RF will be equal to R1. So, so select some value of R1 and RF here. Let us select the value of R1 equal to 10 kilo ohm, then RF will be also 10 kilo ohm, fine. And the last step is design the circuit. So, we have already designed that circuit, that circuit is this one. So, you can see that the C value, capacitor value is 0 0.01 microfarad. Corresponding to this capacitor value C, the register R is 15.9 kilo ohm. So, 15.9 kilo ohm to get this value, we need to use potentiometer, fine. And R1 and RF are of 10 kilo ohm. So, when we simulate this circuit on the software or uh, on the breadboard, we design when we design this circuit on breadboard, right. So, then the cutoff frequency for this circuit will be 1 kilohertz. So, you can take some other value of C also like 0 0.1 microfarad, 0 0.0047 microfarad, no issue in that, but corresponding to that value of C, R will change. Similarly, we can take another value of R1 and RF also, like 15 kilo ohm, 20 kilo ohm, there is no issue in that. So, there are different answers for the same circuit, but for all the circuits, the cutoff frequency will be same, that is in this case 1 kilohertz. So, this is the problem based on first order low pass filter. Now, next one is the second order low pass filter. Second order, in second order, we use two RC sections. Like in first order, we have used one RC section. One RC section means we have used one R and one C, right? One R and one C. But in case of second order low pass filter, we use two registers R2, R3 and two capacitors C2, C3. Again, the role of this R1 and RF is to provide the gain, fine. This RL is the load resistance. So, we can design second order filter just by adding an uh, RC network to the first order filter, first order low pass, then it will become second order. And for second order filter, the roll off rate is 40 dB per decade. So, what is this 40 dB per decade? It means that when we draw the gain versus frequency response, then the roll off rate will be minus 40 dB per decade and uh, this is the cutoff frequency FH. And uh, normally we choose Butterworth filter. So, in designing the second order filters, we use this Butterworth filter. So, the for so for Butterworth filter, the pass band gain AF is 1.586. It is corresponding to the damping coefficient alpha that is 1.414. So, the point is that in the problems of uh, second order filters, we will be using the AF value is equal to 1.586. So, by default, we will take Butterworth response. It means that if the passband gain is not given in the question, then we will take AF equal to 1.586. It gives the Butterworth response. Now, what is this Butterworth response? Butterworth response means we get flat passband. Flat passband means this one. This is the passband. Flat means we are getting the constant gain in the passband. That is desirable. That is desirable. Flat passband is desirable. That is why we select this Butterworth response. Now, again, we can derive the transfer function of uh, this second order low pass filter. So, to derive it, we can apply the nodal analysis at node A and at node B. 
just apply the nodal analysis at node A and node B and after solving it and rearranging the terms, we can calculate the value of V naught S upon V s, V naught S upon V s. So, after doing these calculations, the value of the F h which we get is 1 upon 2 pi under root R 2 R 3 C 1 C 2, 1 upon 2 pi under root R 2 R 3 C 1 C 2. So, the circuit is this one, for this circuit the cutoff frequency is 1 upon 2 pi under root R 2 R 3 into C, uh, we have used C 2 and C 3. So, in this equation it will be C 2 and C 3. So, from simplification point of view, we take R 2 is equal to R 3 is equal to R, C 2 is equal to C 3 is equal to C. So, when we take it, then the value of F h will be 1 upon 2 pi R C, 1 upon 2 pi R C. So, the cutoff frequency of the second order low pass filter, it is same as the first order low pass filter and we are getting it in which case when we are taking R 2 equal to R 3 equal to R, C 2 is equal to C 3 is equal to C. So, the point is that if we take the value of this R 2 and R 3 equal and C 2 and C 3 equal, then the cutoff frequency equation is same and what about the voltage gain of this uh, second order uh, low pass filter? So, for the voltage gain, the expression for the voltage gain is V naught upon V in that is equal to A f upon under root 1 plus f by f h to the power 4. So, in case of first order low pass filter, we were getting A f upon under root 1 plus f by f h to the power 2, but in case of second order, it is to the power 4. What is this A f? A f is the pass band gain and it is 1 plus R f upon R 1, this R 1 and this is R f, it provides gain. F is the frequency of the input signal, F h is the cutoff frequency of the second order filter. So, this is the voltage gain equation which we get when we apply the nodal analysis in this circuit and after simplification, after calculation we get this equation. So, this is about the transfer function and the cutoff frequency of the second order filter, second order low pass filter. Now, again we are going to understand the design of second order low pass filter. So, the design steps of second order is same as the first order. It means that the step 1, firstly we will decide the cutoff frequency. In the question normally the cutoff frequency is given and to get this cutoff frequency, we will select some value of C that C should be less than or equal to 1 microfarad. We can select any value, but normally we select that value of the capacitor. Uh, that value of the fixed capacitor which is available in the market, fine. For example, if we if you want to design a second order low pass filter of the cutoff frequency 5 kilohertz in your laboratory. So, you will take some value of the capacitor, fixed capacitor, the capacitor which you will take that should be available also, right. So, normally we take the value of the capacitor that that should be the that should be easily available in the market, fine. That is why firstly we decide the value of C, not R and corresponding to this value of C, we can calculate the value of R 2 and R 3. Since we know that the cutoff frequency F h is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root R 2, R 3, C 2, C 3. So, in this case, in this case for simplification purpose, we are taking R 2 equal to R 3 equal to R, C 2 is equal to C 3 is equal to C. So, the cutoff frequency F h will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi R C, fine. From the step 1, we know the value of F h, from the step 2, we know the value of C. So, from step 3, we can calculate the value of R, fine. In step 4, what we do? In step 4, we calculate the values of R 1 and R f 
which are responsible for the gain and the equation for the pass band gain F is equal to 1 plus Rf upon R1. Since this is the second order filter, second order low pass, so by default we will be considering the Butterworth response. For Butterworth response, the AF is 1.586. So it is 1.586. From here we can find out the relation between RF and R1. It will be RF will be equal to 0 0.586 into R1, right? This one will be subtracted from uh, this one will be subtracted from 1.586. So RF will be equal to 0 0.586 into R1. And the last step is design the circuit. Design the circuit, right? So these are the design steps for the second order low pass filter. You can see that all the steps are same. Just we need to understand one thing for simplification. We, we have to take the value of R2 equal to R3 equal to R and the value of C2 is equal to C3 is equal to C. We can take different values also, but for simplification, it is better to take the same value. Because uh, if you take the different value, if you take the same value, for both the cases, you will get the same cutoff frequency. So, it is better to take the same value. Now, one question we are going to do that is uh, design a second order low pass filter at a cutoff frequency of 1 uh, at a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz fine so again the approach is same approach is same as first order low pass filter so we will go step by step step 1 is first mention the value of the cutoff frequency since in the question the cutoff frequency is given that is 1 kilohertz Step 2, select some value of the capacitor. Since it is a second order filter, so we are using two capacitors. These two capacitors are C2 and C3 and for simplification, we are taking C2 is equal to C3 equal to C. Let us take any value of C less than 1 microfarad. Let us take the value of C is 0 0.0047 microfarad. In step 3, just calculate the value of R2 and R3. Since again we are going to take R2 equal to R3 equal to R for the second order low pass filter. So the equation of R it will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi FH into C. Just put the value of FH from step 1, put the value of C from step 2. You can calculate the, the value of R with the help of calculator. Step 4, just find out the value of R1 and RF. Now see, in the previous question, for the first order low pass filter, the pass band gain was given, that was 2. But in this case, since the pass band gain is not given, so by default, we will take the Butterworth response. Butterworth response means AF will be equal to 1.586 and this AF equation is 1 plus RF upon R1. We are getting this 1 plus RF upon R1 because we are using non-inverting configuration, right? For non-inverting configuration, the gain is 1 plus RF upon R1 and the advantage of non-inverting is the input resistance is high, loading effect is very less. So from here, RF will be equal to 0 0.586 R1. Now select some value of R1, select some value of R1. If R1 we select, if R1 is equal to let us say 10 kilo ohm, you, you, you can select 27 kilo ohm, any value less than 100 kilo ohm. For example, if we select the R1 equal to 27 kilo ohm, then the value of RF will be 15.8 kilo ohm. You can verify it. So, if we select R1 equal to 27 kilo ohm, just put 27 here and 27 into 0 0.586, then RF will be equal to RF will be equal to 15.8 uh, kilo ohm. Fine. So you can take any other value of uh, R1 also, there is no issue, uh, answers will be different, but ultimately the cutoff frequency will be same. And in the last step, just design the circuit and do not forget to do not forget to mention the values of the components. The values of the components are very important. So in step 5, design the circuit and that circuit is this one. This is the step 5. You, you need to redraw it, right? Again, you will draw this circuit there, that problem. And you can see that 
all the component values are mentioned like C2 is equal to C3 equal to C that we have taken 0 0.0047 microfarad corresponding to this value of C we are getting R equal to 33 kilo ohm you can verify it with the help of that particular FH equation FH that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi RC fine and if we are taking the value of R127 kilo ohm then RF is 15.8 kilo ohm this RL is the load resistance this plus VCC minus V are the supply voltages. So, if you simulate this circuit, if you design this circuit on the breadboard and if you draw the frequency response of this second order low pass filter, then the cutoff frequency you will get approximately 1 kilohertz. So, in the filter numericals, the answers may be different, the component values may be different, but ultimately the cutoff frequency will be same. So, this is about the design steps, about the problem solving, how to uh, solve the problem, how to design the filter, right. So, in this class, uh, I have discussed uh, the first order low pass filter and the second order low pass filter design steps and uh, we have done uh, problems based on the first order low pass filter and the second order low pass filter. This is the reference. Thank you.